wonderful. That's an orchard at all, really. I could see the birds at the tables. I'm sure if they were red, uh, was still, yeah, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, we used to come in, have egg and chips. Why did we have egg and chips? Because this was the cheapest thing to buy. I think if we were lucky, we'd have two eggs. I am going to say when they change the salt with the pepper pots, <laughs> we used to play up a bit. Not so much me. But uh, yeah, it, it was great. It was a new thing for the city. Uh, we, you know, we had the Regal over there, and we had uh, the Wimpy Bar and everything else. Nothing's really changed at all. And uh, the structures here. Do you know what? I think it's so sad that it's gone like this. I didn't realise. Because there would have been great potential. I mean, I've just been upstairs, and uh, it looks all over the city. Uh, and it was buzzing, but it's like everything in those days. You either take it or leave it. And I think and another thing is if you don't use it, you lose it. And it's a different generation. But it was a, a, an in thing for our city. Um, but yeah, it's a shame. But then after that, we had, we had lots of stores in here and different projects was going on. But it got left. It got, it, it just went to rack and ruin. And uh, it's a sad, it's had to go. It is a sad day, but it's a good day because we've got to move on. Uh, and that's what it's all about. So but what I, I'm really peeved about is the city council had to buy it back off uh, the Eva by calling Orange Unions in those days in Orange Union. They owned all this square, you know, and had the audacity to let us buy it back. And all the money they got in a big company, they just let the square go because the square belongs to them. What, what hopes do you have for the future of King Square? Oh, I, I know we're going to turn it round. Our first project is the bus station. We need the bus station with people to walk through this, to the square. What's my vision for the square? Do you know what my vision is? All along there, let's have one massive departmental store. You know, let's hope somebody believes in us and comes to the city. Because we're going to have that wonderful bus station, we're going to get rid of all those car parks, uh, the tax offices, we're going to get rid of chambers, the regal, which in a way is sad, because we had all, we, in our days, we all were with the Beatles, the Rolling Stones, Terry Dean, everybody came to Gloucester. And they ate here, you know, and they came here, and also the Golden Dragon, because they'd always go over there for an eight one too. But, um, yeah, so... And um, my vision, yeah, is to get the square up and running. And do you know what? It don't matter where you go on the concert, what I really like, and I said to Paul James, I took photos, where we could go again and have an organ, like Blackpool, where it comes out of the ground. And when it's a lovely evening, people come and dance. You know, dance on the, you know, I wish I could dance there, but really dance in the square. And it, this square could really be a goldmine for the city. And what